Okay, so we're asked to find the equation of the line. The first thing to do is write down y equals mx plus c. Now, c is our y-intercept and m is our gradient. And the y-intercept is the easiest to find because you just go to the y-axis and you keep going down until you get to where the line crosses it, which is at 2. So we know we've got y equals mx plus 2. Now, the gradient is a little bit more complicated. So for the gradient, you need to find two points where you know the coordinates of the line. So on the y-axis, so on the y-intercept, I know that it's at 0, 2. And going down the line, I don't really, it looks about a half there, but I'm not 100% sure. So this point here, I know the, the point too. Then you draw yourself a little triangle. So you go down, then across, and you find out how much has y changed how much has you, have you had to go down? So it's one square. How much did I have to go across? Well, it's two squares. Okay, so we know that it's going to be down one across two. Now the gradient, formula for the gradient, is the change in y over change in x. Now, the y has changed one and the x has changed two. Okay, because we went down one and across two. However, looking at that line, it is going down. So the gradient must be negative. Now you could say that the change in y has to be up to be positive, And if it goes down, it goes minus one and you end up with minus one over two, which is the same as minus a half. So the really important thing that you have is the fact that that's a minus half x and then plus two. So y equals minus half x or 0.5x plus 2 is the answer.